Hello and welcome. My name is Andrew Grant. In this video we're going to have a quick look at deleting unwanted icons and tiles from your Windows 10 start menu after you've uninstalled the program. You might suddenly find that you've got some programs. So let me show you. Um, now I did have as you can see Visual Studio 2017 release candidate so if the icon as such is still there but if I click on it you just get searching for the device except for the development environment .exe to locate the device yourself click browse it'll not be found so let's click and then we'll go back down and we've got this now these look like they're still available to us and they are but we want rid of them so what we're going to do open file explorer click in the uh, navigation bar and you're going to do percent capital P R O G R A M capital D A T A all one word so it's program data percent program data all one word capitalize the P capitalize the D data end it with a percent sign backslash Microsoft Windows as you can see it's starting to tell us where we can go start menu we want the start menu and backslash programs go here and come down just find what you're after oh, there's that there's the entry we want rid of and there's the other entry so we click click on those I've got it set so that you've got the check boxes you go into the view item check boxes I've gone available okay so it's view and then over here you've got item check boxes so we'll go back to home and we'll just find that again there and we'll go down and there and click delete there we go as you can see they're now in the recycle bin get rid of that now if we open the start menu again and come down Visual Studio 2015 they've gone and that's how you get rid of the tiles slash icons in the Windows 10 start menu after you've uninstalled the program and it doesn't uninstall it the icon or tile by itself okay thank you very much and we'll see you shortly